What's up guys, no big intro, you guys know what you're here for. Let's go ahead and take a listen in to every single phone that has been found in Shadows of Evil. As you can see, these documents give some indication as to the considerable amounts of money we are talking about. My client would never have signed the authorization on these loans. Nonetheless, there it is, in black and white. Signed by the missus herself. Nero's family estate is not what it once was. Even if these documents are genuine, we'll need some time to get our affairs in order. I would advise your client that our company intends to aggressively pursue settlement within one week. Fifteen days. Look, I need to make a call. My secretary will see you out. Nero, I have the most wonderful news. The loan documents were fraudulent. Well, your wife was fraudulent. She forged your signature on the loan agreements, and we can prove it. The date on the forms says November 5th last year, exactly the same time that you were in the hospital following your performance of the amphibious man. You couldn't possibly assign those papers. You were in a coma for the entire month. Please understand that you yourself are not under any suspicion at this time. This is merely an informal interview. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can we just cut to the chase? The chase? Excellent metaphor. Or is it an allegory? I can never remember the difference. You want to know about my partner, Jack Vincent? You're a good detective. So what do you want to know? He's a loudmouth, show-off, more than a little rough around the edges? He's a drinker, smoker? How about the fact that he's got a wife that scares him more than any fucking criminal out there? What do you want me to tell you? Is Jack Benson on the table? Listen, the more I talk to you, the more I'll get a reputation around the precinct. Can we maybe do this elsewhere? Hey, Jackie, it's me. Your suit from Internal Affairs came by today, asking a whole bunch of questions. I didn't say shit, because I don't know shit. As far as I can tell, you're in the clear. We trust you, Jackie. You're my best friend. Like a brother. Just wanted you to know that I got you back. Oh. As you know, I'm looking to cast the female lead in my new picture. And I heard that you have quite the roster of up-and-coming talent. <laughs> I'm looking for an all-American girl, a real beauty. I heard you may know an aspiring actress by the name of Jessica Rose. The burlesque dancer? <laughs> she ate exactly peaches and cream, or sugar and spice. I heard she's a real firecracker, if you know what I mean. I'd like to meet her. Give her a scream to Leave it with me. I'll get back to you. Hey, hey, Jessica. A movie director came by to talk to me today, said he wanted to meet you. I gotta be honest, I didn't get a good feeling from him. I told him where to go. <laughs> well, not in so many words. Listen, I'm glad you didn't sign that studio contract. Truth is, I'm not even much of a producer. I'm more of a talent wrangler. Here's the thing. My partner's written a musical that just got financing. I know that you're gonna be perfect for the lead. This time next year, you're gonna be on Broadway, baby! Hey, Floyd! You did good. You kept your word, delivered the knockout. I just wanted to tell you that not to worry about any fucking journalists or commission investigations. That shit is done. Anyways, besides setting your mind at rest, I wanted to give you the good news. It's all set. You got it, Floyd. You got your title shot. January 15th. Putting aside your enormous self-interest as a promoter, what would you like to say to boxing fans everywhere about the upcoming fight? Yeah, uh, particularly with regard to this last-minute substitution. Uh, Floyd Campbell? I'd like to say that Floyd Campbell is a credible opponent, despite how the bookies may see it. What about the fact that fans would much rather see the number one contender facing off with the champion, your champion, as opposed to this little herd of journeyman fighter? Look, there's no doubt that Floyd Campbell is the underdog. Nevertheless.
left. Are you using Campbell to keep your big money maker away from opponents who could be just a little too dangerous? The champ doesn't avoid anyone. What? But nothing. This interview is over. No further questions. Hey, Mr. Rapp, just checking in. So I'm here. Finally. Taking in the sights, sounds, and smells of Morg City. I know you sent me here to write a piece about the city's bustling nightlife and theater scene, and the characters that inhabit it, but things are getting kind of strange. Even though no one seems to want to talk about it, something is definitely off about this city. Just last week, there was a media shower. A freaking media shower. And everybody acted like it was no big thing. Then, a mold showed up. All over the city, in the dark, damp alleys, there's a strange kind of fungus growing. It looks weird, it smells even weirder, but nobody really says anything. Then people started getting sick. At first it just made them delirious, confused. Then they really got sick. It was like they were wasting away. People finally started talking about it. I spoke to one guy in his 80s, a fruit seller, at the local market. He said something similar happened in New England in 1882. When I tried to press him on it, he just lowered his head and ignored me. If you ask me, something definitely ain't right here. Hey, Mr. Rapp. So, I went by the market again today. For some reason, the fruit seller was much more talkative. Even if what he said was more than a little crazy. He told me that when he was a boy, his uncle would get drunk and start talking about how a dark force cast its shadow over the city. How good and evil were battling right on our doorstep. And that the only thing holding back the forces of the apocalypse was the ancient order of the Keepers. Well, even if what he said was more than a little crazy, I'm not sure he was. Even though they're scared, or maybe because they are, people are talking more. Asking around, I've heard more than a few whispers about this ancient order and the Keepers. I think it's some kind of cult. They say you can hear them chanting sometimes, from beneath the city. There's all these rumors about human sacrifice and freaky shit that even the police won't investigate. Because they've been paid off, or because they're too damn scared. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. <laughs> To any survivors of this realm, I am truly sorry. I wish I could offer you some words of comfort, but I cannot. It is my hope that I can rid the universe of the evil that has plagued us for so long. But in my heart, I know many more dimensions will be lost forever as we continue our journey towards peace. Forgive me. All right, so a lot of interesting stuff can be found throughout the map, especially that last clip that has Maxis in it. Someone we were not expecting to see, or at least I was not expecting to see in Shadows of Evil, but it is a huge, huge surprise. It has a lot of implications for the storyline, and I'm gonna be explaining it all in a future storyline video. So make sure you guys do subscribe. If I have already made the storyline video, I will leave a link in the description down below. First link in the description to that storyline video explaining everything that is going on in this map, but huge, huge storyline. Really, really excited, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.